In this example, you're asked to uh, find and simplify another difference quotient, but this one gets um, a little trickier. So the function is uh, square root of x plus 3. But uh, I'm adding the instruction because you're going to have this possibly in your homework. Uh, I'm adding the instruction to rationalize the numerator. And, and the reason for this, well, let me, let me do the first step and then I'll explain the reason for this. So uh, the, the most common mistake in finding difference quotients for students is dealing with this g of x plus h piece of the puzzle. So make sure when you find your f of x plus h or your g of x plus h, you input x plus h inside the function. So this, you should replace, anywhere you see an x, replace x with this. So if you go to the um, instructions for the function, so it's the square root of, and then there's the x. So in place of x, write x plus h. Be real careful to do that whenever you um, are working on a difference quotient. It's, it's not going to um, generally be just a function and then slap a plus h on the end. In this case, it's important that the h goes inside of the radical, goes underneath. That makes a big difference. OK, so here's the g of x plus h piece of the puzzle. So now I'm going to write out this whole expression, but putting square root of x plus h plus 3 in place of this right here. So now we have the square root of x plus h plus 3, that's the g of x plus h, minus g of x, which g of x you just copy from what's given right here. So minus the square root of x plus 3, all divided by h. I mean, and it looks like we're done. There's nothing obvious. You can't combine those radicals in the numerator. Uh, and so, I mean, technically we are done. This is the difference quotient. Uh, now, I've, that's why I've added this instruction to rationalize the numerator. It turns out if you rationalize the numerator in this case, if you get um, rid of the radicals in the numerator, then you're going to end up being able to simplify. When you take a calculus class, you're going to work on expressions like this, and you're going to be looking at what happens when h gets close to zero. Well, in this case, if h is close to 0, I mean, at 0, this thing is undefined. So that's why we want to rewrite it another way, possibly get rid of this h in the denominator. Uh, and you'll want to do that when you are in a calculus class. So to rationalize an expression with radicals, we want to multiply by the conjugate of this expression. So multiply by the conjugate which would be that same expression, so x plus h plus 3 plus the other radical, x plus 3. And if we're going to multiply by that in the numerator, then we have to make sure we do the same thing in the denominator. And it's unfortunate that I've run myself out of room here. Uh, so if you multiply out the numerator, the first thing you're going to get is this square root times itself. So that's going to give you just x plus h plus 3. The outside, you're going to have this square root times this square root. OK, so square root of x plus 3 times the square root of x plus h plus 3. With the inside, and this happens every time you multiply by a conjugate, you're going to get the same product, but now with a negative sign. Negative square root of x plus 3 times the square root of x plus h plus 3. So when you FOIL the outside, and then plus the inside is going to be 0 every time you multiply by conjugates. The outside inside part when you FOIL amounts to 0. And then for last, you'd have this negative root times the positive root. So you're going to end up with negative x plus 3 without the square root because you're multiplying that square root times itself. The square root goes away. So I'm going to write that on the next page. Uh, so this square root times itself. gives me, oops, need my pen, uh, gives me x plus h plus 3. The outside inside part when we foiled canceled. And then we had negative square root of x plus 3 times itself, which when you multiply the square root times itself, that radical is going to go away. But make sure you apply the negative to that entire expression there. Divided by h, and then we still have that conjugate that we multiplied by. Leave that. Don't multiply out the denominator. Leave that part alone. OK. Uh, now distributing the negative on top. So minus x minus 3. 
Oopsie, and something's something's not right here in that numerator. Hang on, let me see. Let's write this down. What did I copy wrong? Let me see. Ah, okay. Sorry, guys, I caught my ear. So the plus three here should be plus three right there. Um, because everything that does not have an H should cancel, and that's true with all of your difference quotient problems. So I've got X minus X, so those are gone. And then plus three and negative three, so those are gone, and you're left with just H in the numerator. Oops, and then plus the square root of X plus three. Okay, so the H's will cancel here, and then our final answer is one over the square root of X plus H plus three plus the square root of X plus three. Notice now, if we were a calculus student and we wanted to substitute zero for H, we could do that now, and this thing will be defined, not undefined.